It says, why do some words add an S at the end when they are plural but not all? For example, one bird, two birds. One cactus, two cacti. Why is it cacti and not cactuses? Okay, so speaking of things being relative, um, I could just say the English language is really messed up and confusing, and that's why. Um, and that would pretty much answer the question, because cactuses is not wrong, and it's not right. Um, we have a lot of discrepancies in the English language, and um, this is actually a, a pretty big debate among linguists, if you can imagine that. Um, so, you know, if you ever want to just blow your mind, go hang out in an English department at a college and see what they are debating, because um, it will really be boring or interesting, depending on what you like. But just to kind of break it down, so um, this really comes from words de derived from Latin. So words that end in U.S. can be made plural by ending the word with I. So, you know, fungus is fungi, if there are many of them. Um, but you can say funguses. It's, it's not wrong, okay? Um, but it's really going to depend on who your teacher is and the purpose that you're writing for. Um, so uh, people have even debated the word virus. Um, is it viruses? Most of us think it is. But... Some people call it viri, um, and actually in the computer programming world, that's a pretty common term. Um, so, if you're going to make a word plural, you can add an es if the word ends in s. Um, but again, if this word is a derivative of a Latin word and ends in us, you probably want to add an i. Um, but you can always check your spelling um, on the internet, and um, and again check with whoever you're, you're writing for or speaking for and see what they prefer. Um, but I, I can't really explain it other than that and that there are always exceptions in English language and it's, it's all kind of messed up. So um, <laughs> we're not going to call, you know, birds bird I. Um, but, you know, if it does end, if the word ends in U-S, you can add an I there to make it plural. It's up to you, though.